President Trump's former personal lawyer and so-called fixer, Michael Cohen, says he's giving critical information to special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia investigation. Last month, Cohen pleaded guilty to eight federal charges and said candidate Trump told him to arrange payments to porn star Stormy Daniels and former playmate Karen McDougal to keep them quiet ahead of the 2016 presidential election. Both women say they had affairs with now President Trump years before he took office. He denies both claims. Laura Engel is here with more. Michael Cohen was in federal court today. Laura, what do we know? He was, and this was a total surprise. I mean, talk about a Friday. Uh, this kind of came out of nowhere, and he was spotted downtown inside the federal courthouse. He denied to say why he was there. We're still working on it. It's possible he was at a meeting about his probation. Now, we've reached out to the U.S. Attorney's Office, the Southern District Court, Cohen's lawyers, Lanny Davis, who offered no comment, and Guy Petrelli, and Cohen himself to see what's going on. Uh, no real response. Response. There was nothing on the court docket today. A picture was posted on Twitter of Cohen entering the court by court reporters who cover federal court daily. That's how we all found out about this. Um, we're continuing to work our sources for more. Yeah, th there were meetings, though, between Cohen and, and Robert Mueller, right? Do we know anything more about what transpired? Right. This report coming to us from ABC News, and this is a very big one because it would in indicate that there is some cooperation going on. Now, there was reportedly multiple interviews in multiple places, according to ABC News sources, some in Washington, D.C., some meetings here in New York City, and apparently these two were not alone. According to this new report, prosecutors from the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Southern District of New York were also on hand. Now, the special counsel's questioning of Michael Cohen reportedly zeroed in on all aspects of the president possible dealings with Russia and any ties to alleged collusion by the Trump campaign to influence the 2016 election. Now, last night, things, John, got a little weird on Twitter over all of this when Cohen seemed to tweet about himself saying, good for Michael Cohen, 212, that's his handle, and providing critical information to the Mueller investigation without a cooperation agreement. No one should question his honesty, veracity, or loyalty to his family and country over POTUS real Donald Trump. Now, Twitter users pounced quickly, uh, questioning the third person reference. The tweet was then taken down, followed up by the exact same tweet from Cohen's lawyer, Lanny Davis, who then tweeted again to explain the momentary confusion, saying this, FYI, I wrote a tweet congratulating Michael Cohen and sent a text to him to tweet to his much larger following, but was delayed posting myself, so he posted first. All take a breath. I don't control or have access to Mr. Cohen's Twitter account. He is my client and my friend. Then, when President Trump's lawyer Rudy Giuliani was asked about the ABC report, he told another outlet, Cohen, quote, has a history of lying. We've reached out for comment to Giuliani's office, so far have not heard back. According to ABC, Mueller's team is interested in knowing if the president or his associates have talked about a possible pardon for Cohen, who pleaded guilty to federal criminal charges last month. Cohen is also cooperating with the New York State investigation into the inner workings of the Trump family charity and the Trump organization, where Cohen served as an executive vice president and special counsel to Trump for 10 years. Now, while there is a chance that President Trump could offer a pardon on the federal level, we know that there are no presidential pardons for state cases. So he's facing up to five years, and he's expected to be sentenced December 12th. A lot going on with Michael Cohen Yeah, that whole today. thing about Cohen sending out a tweet congratulating himself, right. and then it gets taken down, and then his lawyer sends out the same thing. That's a little weird. It seemed a little weird, and Twitter definitely responded. A lot of people said, what is going on? So they tried to clarify it, and that was the answer. Laura Engel, thank you. Thank you.